Hello. Hey Steph, Cody here from Doc and Twizzle. How are you going? Uh, hey Cody, yeah, doing good here. How's everything with you? Great. Hey listen, we've got a problem. We've got a pair of birds that have turned up on the west coast. Trouble is, we don't know if they're male or female. Right, male and female khaki look alike. So it must be hard to tell if they're a breeding pair. That's correct. Could you work your magic? Sure, I'll get the Gen X team together. Extraction! PCR! Gel! The first thing we need to do is get DNA from these birds. And to do that, we're going to go to Alina, the expert DNA extractor. While we have fed a samples from these birds that were collected when they were babies in the captive breeding facility, we put the feather tip into a liquid that breaks up the feathers and add chemicals that washes away all the parts that aren't DNA. By the end, only the DNA is left. Here we go, all ready. Wow, that was really easy. Mm -hmm. Awesome, so what's the next step? Let's go to Rachel, she's a superstar DNA amplifier. To tell males and females apart, we need to look at the piece of bird DNA that's different between males and females. Awesome! How do we do that? We use a little thing called PCR, or polymerase chain reaction. Basically, we mix DNA with primers, buffers, and a special protein. These ingredients work together like a photocopier to make lots of copies of the region we're interested in. But the protein doesn't work at room temperature, so we have to put it in a PCR machine, which heats the mixture up so the protein can work and make millions of copies of DNA. So you follow a recipe and then put it into an oven. Basically like baking a cake. Sure thing! Oh, I could really use some cake right now. Me too. But there's one last step. Gel analysis! To see if the birds are male or female, we put the DNA in a gel and run electricity through it to separate pieces by DNA size. A gel is kind of like a tangled web. Small bits of DNA go through the gel quickly, while large pieces of DNA go through the gel more slowly. In birds, we are able to tell males from females since males only have one sized copy of the gene we're looking at and females have two different sizes. So once we put the gel under a special UV light, we should see one band for boys and two for girls. <sighs> Shouldn't Stephanie be done with the gel analysis by now? Yeah, she's taking forever. Oh wait, there she is. Yay! <gasps> Sorry it took me so long, you guys. I thought it'd be more fun if we revealed the results through cake. Awesome! All right, so this is bird number one. This is bird number two. If you bite into your cupcake and there's blue frosting, it means it's a boy. If you bite into your cupcake and there's pink frosting, that means it is a girl. I'm so f***ing hungry. Let's just do this. Dig in. So what do your cupcakes say? Mine's a girl. Mine's a girl too. Uh, awesome, right? I wasn't expecting both of them to be female, but the gel has two mans for both individuals. Just two kick-ass ladies exploring museums. Aw, lady friends. That's awesome. Good luck out there, ladies. We should tell the dog rangers. Yeah. Do we have more cake? We've got more cake. Mm.